of 26 wins, no losses, with all 26 wins coming by way of knockout. Here is the undefeated WWC lightweight champion of the world, Edwin Dinamita. Big punches would come. Uh, but he looked at me, he threw a right hand, and he said to add to that. And already, so at the very beginning. And he's a converted right hand puncher. In the right jab, and over with it. There's like fruit of the fruit stand. He found a job working at Upian in his homeland of Venezuela. Time frame with stoppages. That's where the market is. People telling us that they want to keep this fight in the center of the ring. There's a left hand, but he really turns his punches over. Come out of nowhere. You know, Valero's showing more, uh, some good tonight. Valero with both hands down. Valero saying that he caught an elbow. Now he's got a gash oh, over his right hand. the forehead of Edwin Valero. Wow, that's a rough one. Accidental foul, elbow, accidental foul, elbow. That injured fighter. So a point was taken. All the way down to his trunks. We will see now what the champion Edwin Valero is made of. And he comes out and it's time to brawl. After round four, they would go to the scorecard. But there is an awfully big target on the face and a mouthpiece now gone. Valero loses his mouthpiece. DeMarco, he wants to fight his urge of being a brawler. The left elbow will come around and hit the forehead. The right hand was there, and there comes the elbow. Valero would lose his mouthpiece and have to fight a long time. That left hand wants to get out of these first three rounds, and he has landed some meaningful punches. There's no question about that. Oh, big left hand by Valero. Very, very well. Valero. And he is landing some very good punches, but taking left. Very good chin. We've seen him in some fights recently. He showed some tremendous boxing skills against a slip. Good lefts, and so far they have not stunned or hurt DeMarco. There's another one. Valero coming into this fight because he hadn't really fought great opposition. Were, was he a great knockout puncher or what? Once. First round, and now we expect to see DeMarco all the skills. He's not a bad defensive fighter, and I'm gonna he punches in combination better than you even think. And he keeps his hands low in punching range. Nice stiff jab by DeMarco. View the judges may see it differently, but singular punches from DeMarco look good. There are big shots by Valero. DeMarco on the forehead of DeMarco. You don't know if it's Valero's blood or not. And look, he's coming forward, and a slight cut on his right eye. Another combat. No, but I think he felt the power of Valero. I don't think. Valero, two judges with a 39-36, an orange big margin. And remember, a closer all night, a two for four. I have it 40-35. Now DeMarco starting to stand in the... Really told us before the fight would be able to control... The crowd being informed of the scoring. Oh, nice left. That left hand by Valero was a strong. 130 to 135 pounds, super featherweight champion as well. He's rolling that left hand. He has to be careful. Time! To the judges, who is running away with this fight. Uh, Valero say, keep going, but if it is stopped. Right side of Valero's head. And push your fighter back. And they're caught this way of Manny Pacquiao. And there's the straight left again by Valero. And Valero does some things. He jabs to the body. He faints. He's a more complete fighter than I thought when I watched the tape. Here comes DeMarco. But he's certainly never been stopped. And again, another left hand. Bouncing off the head. Straight left hand. Of First good body shots landed a long time by either fighter. Pablo Chiarte wants to make sure that his fighter fights technically. But at the same time, you sometimes... For DeMarco, he's dug a monster hole for himself. This round has been won by schedule for 12 for the WB. Hands go. He's going backwards. He needs to start moving. He told me during our meeting that his right hand is strong. 
Yeah, and you know, we've seen him perform very well, but again, oh, nice hook. But again, we have not seen him against this caliber American public, that he's a future superstar in this weight class. There, double left hook. They said he was like water with his hand speed and also with his footwork, beating yesterday that he can do that if need be, and we've seen him do it. Yeah, I see it. it. Absolutely, Gus. I didn't see it on the tapes. You see it tonight. Confused. Because Valera, a lot of punches from weird angles. DeMarco missing. Oh, look at the quickness and the slickness. Well, he has controlled every one of these rounds, Valero, and he's done it primarily with the jab straight left hand. But as Gus pointed out, fought a few times in the United States, but never out in the tenth. Now this, oh my, what a left hand by Valero. So Valero does know what it's like to control the latter part of a fight and win it. But in this round, and that's the danger for DeMar. Did. Valero, very effective tonight with that step back after he delivers his combination. And he's also, because of his slick fighting, taken the crowd out of this fight. Oh, me. Left hand, there's another one. Now Valero starting to pick apart the 24-year-old DeMarco. DeMarco landing a right hook. DeMarco needs to turn this around with a monstrous right hook, and that'll be what does it if he can. And that's what he needs right now very badly. And like Manny Pacquiao, though, Al punches a combination from different... The matter is, he is showing all those nuances. Maybe Floyd... Well, oh, or just, potentially. No doubt. Oh, that's Mayweather. That's my <laughs> Okay, there you go. Floyd has never lost. <laughs> I've sacked him as Pacquiao. <laughs> Eight rounds. Scheduled for 12. 17 seconds to go. Oh, beating in there. Although it looks like Valero is the fighter that has actually taken the beating, but he is too slick. A lot of trouble now, folks. Valero now for the knockout, but he wants it. For Valero, there's still danger Ooh. to get hit with a right hook, but he is landing big shit. That left hand is vicious. Now he goes to the body, comes over to the top. Arte, who is as close as 100%. Kiarte kept asking Tony what he wanted to do. And there was talk in DeMarco's corner that if he didn't get busier, they were going to stop the fight. Nice straight left hand, what he's done in this fight. Ooh, by Valero. Ooh, one, two, stiff. And forward. DeMarco and his people, oh, monstrous left by Valero. They asked for Valero. They wanted to fight him. They thought the style of DeMarco would lend itself to beating Valero. Like a lot of other people, I think they underestimated some of the skills of Valero. Seven seconds to go in the ninth round, scheduled for 12. Now Tony DeMarco, mouth open, tired. Um, that's it. That's it, folks. Tony DeMarco retiring on his stool. The champion continues to reign. Edwin Valero, another successful. This man, he made a marketing statement tonight to tell the world, you haven't seen me? Here I am. I Someone to be reckoned with in the lightweight division, and boy, is he ever. He wouldn't have performed well in that ninth round. You knew that they were going to stop this fight. As you take a look once again at the beautiful family of the champion, Edwin Valera. Showing why he is the world champion and considered one of the best pound for pound fighters in the world. And as you look at the knockout, still undefeated, and still the WBC lightweight champion of the world, Edwin Dinamita Valero.